Rivers' career in a positive or a negative light? Uh, positively. He's fifth in passing yards, skill fifth in touchdowns, passing Marino on both of those this year. 17 years. He didn't play very much in his first two seasons behind playing behind Drew Brees, but got his opportunity. And once he took over, Skip, he didn't miss a snap. Played uh, 15 year, played uh, 15 straight, basically years, uninterrupted. Played a, a, a championship game on a torn ACL. But, Skip, we got to get out this notion that if you don't win a championship, you're not a great player. Because there have been a lot of great players in a lot of different sports that's never won a championship. And what fun is that? Championships wouldn't have its meaning if every great player won a championship. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not his fault that he came along at the wrong time. He played in the era, Skip. Let me guess who was in his era. Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, and Big Ben. In his 17 seasons, those three guys went to 14 of the Super Bowls in the AFC. Yep. In his 17 seasons. Uh, and we're talking about two of those guys are on the all-century team. Yep. Uh, that's not a knock. I mean, he he did. I, I thought I think Philip Rivers had an unbelievable career, but that's the problem, Skip. Because you look at he and Drew. You look at what Drew Brees accomplished once he went to New Orleans. You look at he was in the draft with Philip with uh, um, Eli mm -hmm. Manning and Big Ben. Yep. Those two guys who got two Super Bowls on their resume. Eli has two Super Bowl MVPs. Ben been to a third, so three. So when you look at it, like, well, he ain't that good, but. No, that's not how you you should judge him. Tom Brady, that's not a knock. He kept a lot of people. That's like Jordan. That's like saying, well, Carl Malone and Barkley might ain't any good because uh, they ain't get no chance. Well, Jordan kept a lot of people from beating. Mm. So I, 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 I look at his career positively. He's a heck of a competitor, a uh, great trash talker, great father, great husband. Yep. And I thought he would come back because I thought he played well enough to come back. But he's like, you know, hey, eight, nine kids. Wife has been do, probably doing double time for the last 17 years, Skip. Mm. He's like, baby, I'm coming home. Mm. I think he was to coach high school football. Yeah, well, he, al he, already got a, he already got a job lined up. So, so quick aside before I comment on Philip Rivers, does this fast track your man walk it to him Wentz or give it to him Wentz right up to Indianapolis it might to reunite with Frank Wright? It might, because Frank got, got, got great service out of him when he was up, he was the OC and then, you know, ended up getting the job once uh, Josh McDaniels backed mm -hmm. out. But uh, it might, Skip. It might. Back to Phillip Rivers. So, because you are in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. it, it becomes a little uncomfortable for you to talk about whether somebody should or should not be yeah. in your Pro Football then, Hall of Fame. Because then it goes to Pro Football Hall of Fame, or Shannon Sharp says Philip <laughs> Rivers shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, I'm not in the Hall of Fame. I'm mostly in the Hall of Shame, so <laughs> I, will, I will comment. If, if it were my call, Philip Rivers wouldn't be in my Pro Football Hall of Fame. That's not a knock on him. He just wasn't transcendent. He is in what I call the Hall of Very Good mm -hmm. because he was very good. Right. In fact, I consider Philip Rivers a classic overachiever. He didn't have the biggest arm. He did have the funkiest delivery I've ever seen right. in all my years watching football. I don't even understand how the ball comes out. Do you? Can you explain <laughs> no. it? I don't know how he gets any velocity on the ball, but he always got enough velocity to be very good at what right. he did. And he once led the league one time in passing yards, and one time he led the league in touchdown passes. He also twice led the league in interceptions, right. but Eli led, had three Time so far and far. He did make Philip Rivers eight Pro Bowls, which is is very good. His overall record in the regular season was 134 and 104, which is it's, it's very good. His playoff record was five and seven, which which is not bad. Right. Five and seven. And he got to one AFC championship game, but he picked the wrong year. Right. Mm hmm. Because it was 2007, and that team was pretty good up in Foxborough, right? So he had to go up in Foxborough. And what had happened to him the week before? He had torn his ACL. Right. So Philip Rivers played on a torn ACL against Tom Brady in the AFC Championship game, coached by Norv Turner with LT in his backfield, Ladanian Tomlinson. And they hung in, and Ladanian was beat up and couldn't go right. much of the game. Remember, he stood on yep. the sideline. And they lost 21 to 12, but they hung in there. Right. They, they, he, he played pretty well. He had a QBR of 39. So did Tom Brady. Right. They were both right there at the same. And it was windy and very cold. It was a tough day to play football. So he did that. That was as close as he got to Super Bowl. But th that team was 
obviously undefeated at right. that point. Okay, so to me, I, I honor his career. I admire his career. But when we're talking about Hall of Fame, I just can't go there because I want my Hall of Fame to have just true greatness, like transcendent right. greatness in it. And it seems like by the year we water it down a little bit more and a little bit more. And, well, that guy, he was a good guy. And Phillip's a good guy. And I think the media always loved Phillip. You look at his career, Skip. Yep. Okay, he came in, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, I got Peyton it. Manning, mm -hmm. Big Ben. Favre was still in the league. They mm -hmm. still playing at a high level. Or and tail end, you got Patrick Mahomes. Of those guys, we believe all the guys that I mentioned are in the Hall of uh, uh, Peyton's going in this year. Obviously, yep. Brady. That's 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 what I mean, Skip. That's what you. I mean, that's I what it. you're looking at. I got it. And so, I mean, was he? Does anybody think he was better than those guys? No, I don't. You got the last three years of Patrick Mahomes. Do you think he's better than Patrick Mahomes? No. So there were moments in Phillips' career where, where he got to the precipice and, and he needed to have that game at that moment right. to do that thing. And right? plus now, let's not – he played with LaDainian Thomason. LaDainian Thomas was the first ballot Hall of Famer. Yep. I believe another guy is going to be Antonio Gates, his tight end. He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. So let's not pretend that Phillip Rivers was going to the loan in San Diego. Okay. Because he was not. All right. I got it. <sighs> Again, bottom line to his career was – it. it it left me wanting just a little bit more occasionally from him that, that he could be a little bit disappointing in the biggest moments. Yes. Okay, that's it. But, yeah. but it, does that mean I'm going to remember him in a negative light? No, no I can't no, go that but, far. Yeah. I, I'll stick by what I said. He is in my hall of very good, which is, is a very good place to be. And I think he's very content with what he did. And yeah. he, I think he's proud of it. Mm -hmm. And I think he made a lot of friends, and he left a lot of goodwill behind yeah. him. And so I, I honor all of that. One AFC championship game, five and seven playoff record. But when you look at the big guns that he was in the era of, Skip, I mean, he just, you know, there are going to be a lot of good players that played and that caught the begin the end of Kobe, and you got KD, and yeah, you got yeah. LeBron, and things like that. And you're going to look back and like, man, he had a nice career, but why didn't we hear him? Because... KD and LeBron and Harden and things of that nature. And yep. that's just the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes guys get all the breaks and some guys <laughs> just don't get the breaks. You, and you need a few breaks to get where he wanted to go. You might have should have been born five years earlier or five years later. Yep. <laughs> so that, I agree. that's just the way it works out sometimes, Skip. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.